is a couple of free plugins for Blender 3D. I'm also going to show you how to install all of them. So let's go ahead and get started by showing you the, uh, all the plugins. So if you go um, to the internet, I will leave all of these in the description. Um, so there is a couple of add-ons that I think are pretty cool to use. So first is Pro Lighting Skies. Um, you can watch this demo yourself here. Um, I'll leave this link in the description, as I said. Um, this is not actually free. Um, there is a demo for this, and the demo is pretty cool. So if we just go down and download it. Choose the option. Um, the demo is somewhere in here. If we go below the video, we should see a demo. Okay, so um, what you're going to have to do is um, you're actually going to have to go to this link here and um, send in your email, your first name and your email, and you can download the, uh, the um, free version of Pro Lightning Skies. Alright, so um, I'll show you to install all of the add-ons. I already have this one, so... Um, the ne next one is Asset Flinger. This is a really awesome add-on. I love this one, so go ahead and click download. Another one, I don't use this one, like, I don't use this one a lot at all, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool that they did this. Um, MC Prep, MC Prep um, Mob Spawner. This is a pretty cool add-on, so you can download this one. So if you go down, you can download it. And see, this one is another cool one, and download that one too. Alright, so once you have done that, go back into Blender, and um, hit Control-Alt-U. And it will bring this up, this Blender user preferences up. You can do a lot of stuff in here, like uh, change the color of the theme um, of your... Um, Blender, uh, and you can uh, click save users and to save them if, if you want to. So under add-ons, there's a lot of add-ons here. Um, as you can see, I have a couple. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this one just to uh, do it. Uh, I'm going to keep the Pro Lighting Skies demo. I'm going to show you how to install the other ones. Um, these are ones that uh, are very pretty simple and they're not that great. Uh, They're good depending on what you're doing. So um, I'm going to delete these and only keep prolonging skies. And uh, yep. so all of these are add-ons here. You can enable them by pressing the checkbox on the side. Um, there's a lot of really cool add-ons, but um, if you click install from file down here, you can select which files you want, you want to install. So if you click asset finger right there, you can click install. And as you can see, we have our asset flinger in in here, and you can just click the checkbox, install, and then you can click install from file, MC prep add-on, and you can check that too. There we go. And so that one's enabled now, and uh, and I think there was one last one's. Up. One last one that we were going to do, KMS Tools. That one's, uh, I'm not going to show you guys how to use, you can figure that one out. Um, the Acid Flinger and MC Prep I will show you how to use though. So, first uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this. So, how do you use the Acid Flinger add-on? Alright, so how do you use this? If you press Control, Alt, Shift, A, you can import something. So this is what the add-on uses. So uh, if you did this without the add-on, it will not work. So this is the stuff you can import. Suzanne's Crazy Brother. We can import that. And it looks pretty cool. Um, they did a really pretty good job. And you can give it subdivision surface and it looks even better. Um, control Alt Shift A. And you can go under cars, uh, different things there, screws, rigs, cogs, nuts and bolts, misc, uh, all this different stuff here, um, soda cans, these are pretty cool, um, they did a very good job on all these models, uh, but 
I'm not gonna um, you do that. So that's one thing you can do with that add-on. Another thing you can do is do Control Alt Shift E and export the model that you have selected in Blender as an OBJ. So if you have two models and you select both of them, it will, it will export both of them. And if you select one of them, it will export only one of them, which I think is pretty cool and very useful for stuff uh, like if you're using Unity and um, you have something you want to export in Blender, and, but you don't want to have to make it into millions of scenes, then you can just do Control Alt Shift E and it exports it for you. All right, so as you can see up here, there's a couple of things which are pretty cool. I think that was the uh, tools add-on. The uh, all right, so the KMS render tools. That was that add-on right there. All right, so how does the MC prep works work? Um, so you can choose. You can uh, import different things. So uh, as you can see, friendly mobs. You can just do a horse and. Uh, Depending on your version um, of Blender, this will not work because uh, you have to have different different versions of Blender for it to work. So mesh swap. But as you can see, um, this does not work in this version of Blender, as it's set up here when I imported the model. So this is this is just for uh, lower versions. It will be updated soon to uh, to um, be able to do higher versions. But right now, that doesn't work. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to import the, those add-ons and uh, how to use them. And uh, one last one is the uh, Pro Lighting Skies. So you have to be in Cycles Render to use this. So, as you can see, you already see a new thing here. If you click Use Nodes and change the color, of course you can do that. And uh, if you check this Pro Lighting Skies demo, you can choose a couple of things. Morning, evening, and cloudy. The advanced version gives you a lot more stuff, but uh, that's very, it's very expensive, so I'm sticking to the demo for now. Um, so morning, you can render it. And we don't actually have anything enabled right now, so any lighting. And there's a sky rendered. It is really good skies you get with pro landing guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial